Um, this has become an annual event, and we love this opportunity to speak directly to parents as your children are embarking on this momentous journey. Uh, before we get to anything else, I just want to briefly acknowledge that I'm sure many of you uh, have questions or concerns about the recent situation in Gaza, and know that we have Amir Kanan here, who is our Chief of Operations and Security, who will be addressing that issue later in the program. But where I want to start right now is to, in to introduce myself. I'm Cheryl Korlitz. I'm the Director of Gap Year Recruitment for Massa North America. In my role previous to Massa, I was the Director of College Guidance in a Jewish high school for many years, and I worked with students and their families in making post high school decisions. In addition, I am the proud mother of two Masa Gap Year alumna. And so I know what you've been going through this past year in terms of preparation. And I can anticipate a lot of what you have coming up in the next months. And for some of you, this may be old hat. Some of you may have sent off multiple children on a gap year or just to leave your home to start their independent lives. But for others of you, this may be the first time that you are doing it. And this is a very big deal for your kids, but it's a big deal for you as well. And I just want you to know that we at Masa take the responsibility of stewarding your children very seriously. I want to thank everyone for submitting so many questions uh, during the registration. We did get so many, and we're hoping to be able to cover as much as we can today on the call. One of the main uh, questions that we got over and over was, what is Masa? So we know you want to hear who we are, what we do, how we take a role in your child here in Israel, and how we connect up to the programs. And everyone who's going to be speaking today is going to talk about a different aspect of the, uh, that question. So I'm just going to start with the basics. First of all, uh, to let you know exactly who we are, Masa is an organization that is half funded by the government of Israel and half by the Jewish Agency. We were started in 2004 with a mission to bring young Jews from around the world to Israel for immersive experiences. And since 2004, we can now number over 180,000 alumni coming from over 60 countries. And so your sons and daughters are entering a very diverse and exciting family. And we consider parents uh, of our uh, participants to be part of that family as well. So welcome. Um, the uh, Masa oversees and offers uh, dozens of programs. And among those, there are about 20 uh, gap year programs that are offered to North Americans. There are representat There's representation for at least 16 programs, I counted in the registration, uh, of you that are here today. Uh, this year, Masa will bring around 10,000 fellows to Israel. Of those, around 2,000 will be doing gap year programs. And of those, about half, a little under 1,000, will be coming from North America. Um, so uh, the next thing I want to address are uh, all the questions that we got that are really pertaining to the individual programs. So um, many of you submitted questions that really are things that we're not going to be able to answer here and are really best answered by the individual program because they pertain to things that they oversee. So for instance, um, if you ask questions about the apartment situation or a food plan or the group flight, any kind of flight information, daily schedules, uh, getting internships, all of those things are, um, is, are done by the programs. And so they're really the best place to reach out. But this gives me an opportunity to direct, uh, to, to explore that issue and to let you know that over the course of the year, when you have questions that really are very specific to the details of what's going on in a program, I encourage you to reach out to the program directly. But then there's the other communication, and we are here for that. Masa is an extra layer of communication, and uh, I helped some of you in the preparing uh, to choose a program, and I'm still here. I haven't gone away. So please use me as a resource over the course of the year with any questions or concerns that you have. If we don't answer some of your questions today, feel free to reach out to me after the program today. I've put my email address and my Calendly link in the chat. So you should have all of that. Keep my contact uh, handy uh, because uh, I'm happy to talk to you at any time over the course of this year. 
Another really great form of communication is the Masag Gap Parents Facebook group. Some of you have already joined. Thank you for doing that. For those of you who haven't, I encourage you to do so. And I also put the link to that in the chat. I encourage you to even sign up before the end of the program. This has become a really important place for us to share essential information over the year, and that will be coming directly from Massa. In addition, this is a great place for you to communicate with other parents. I encourage you to share great information, um, pictures and stories, anything that you would want to share with other people who are going through the same experience experiences you, but I also want to encourage you to reach out with questions that you have. We now have a full year's worth of Masai Gap Year alumni parents, and they've just gone through what you've gone through, and they do have answers to some of your questions, and some of them are parents from the same programs as your children were on. So I encourage you to reach out and to put those questions there. I can't think of a better group of people to, um, to reach out to than other uh, parents going through the same experience. I just wanna mention when it comes to communicating with me, I'm actually based in Detroit. So I'm your North American contact, but I am Detroit. If there are any Detroiters on the call, hello. Uh, it's nice to see you. And so I'm in the Eastern time zone. And now we're gonna leave North America a little bit. And I would like to now introduce you to some very important people in your children's lives this year. Uh, we are going to start with Sarah Mali, who is a vice president of Massa and head of the uh, Massa Impact and Leadership Center. So uh, without further ado, I introduce Sarah Mali. Hello, everyone. It's a little different accent. Um, I'm coming to you from Jerusalem. Uh, I have two daughters that are around the age. Just one daughter's going in the army. One's just finished her gap year in Israel. Um, and I have a lot of uh, friends uh, who probably, you're probably my, in my peer group, I imagine, who are uh, not necessarily from the US, more from the UK, who, who kind of call me up and say, Sarah, what program? Can you help me with my kids? Da, 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 da. So I feel you, I'm with you, and I uh, want to speak to you a little bit about what we do at the Masa Leadership and Impact Centre. So imagine that you've got all these programs, so Aardvark, Young Judea, Nativ, uh, Hevrota, wherever your ch uh, children, if, I've, if I've, uh, I haven't included everything, so don't worry, every program, but your children are going on different programs. And then you have Masa. So Masa is kind of is, is a framework and a platform and a support for those programs. And what I wanted to do today is talk about four or five things that we do to help make your uh, children's experience uh, stronger, richer, and more transformative and support them on their journey. So the first you might be wondering, by the way, I did a gap year, but very, a very, very long time ago, 94, 95. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is a bit about social. You know, you're sending your children away to a new social grouping. And I can imagine that could be a source of anxiety, a bit of nervousness, a bit of trepidation, and obviously a great source of excitement. Um, and what we what we do at the Masai Leadership and Impact Center is we we help the, the madrachim, the counselors, the professional team of the organizers, make sure that your child is socially feeling good and well and connected and grounded. Um, and we train them to be able to do that with reflective practice, with personal conversations, with simulations. You should know that the, the professional team that is welcoming your child through the organizers, through the different programs that we I just aware. mentioned before, um, are, uh, are, are trained by us to be able to make sure that your child thrives socially uh, on their program. So that's the first thing. The second thing is um, uh, preparing, uh, is engagement with Israel. So of course your program is designed to engage uh, uh, your child and our fellows with Israel. Um, and and what we try and do is also engage them with Israel beyond their program with other people. So I'll give you an example. On Yom Azikaron, and I hope you'll all join us. It feels like a long while away in uh, May 75th year of the establishment of the State of Israel, Memorial Day for the Fallen Soldiers and Victims of Terror. We bring together all the programs to memorialize uh, um, the, uh, uh, our soldiers and victims of terror around the world. And this is a what we call a mega event, 3,000 people together, 3,000 fellows together at Latrun uh, uh, to experience that together. So that means that if your daughter or son, child is on one of the uh, one program and your other, your, you, they've got friends on other programs, 
We, through a variety of, uh, uh, of events, not uh, including but not exclusive to Yom, Yom Azikoron, the Memorial Day ceremony, bring uh, uh, GAP uh, participants together to meet up so they can see one another which is also a great source of chizuk, of reinforcement for them as they're also, oh, wow, I can see my friends, my peers that have chosen different programs. So they shouldn't feel, oh, I'm not gonna get together with other, with my friends. I'm, you're, we're gonna hopefully facilitate those kinds of meetings um, uh, throughout the year. But in addition, they're gonna meet people, from, Jews from around the world. And that's really, really special. So they're gonna have the opportunity to meet people um, Masa fellows from France, from Russia, from, from across Europe, from the UK, South Africa, Australia. And that's really, really formative. So they're going to feel part not only of a Jewish community from which they come, but also from a Jewish community globally. And we facilitate that too. Um, so I, I want to talk, that's number, point number two. Point number uh, three is mental health. Uh, we know that mental health is a, is, 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 is is a phenomenon that's, that's growing and, and we take it very, very seriously. We train all of our, our professionals to be able to have first aid diagnostic skills. So they can understand what's going on, they see, and they're not trained, obviously, psychologists, psychiatrists, but they can also, uh, but they're able to refer uh, participants or support participants on the kind of first aid kind of preliminary level, and then refer to a whole set of resources that we have, professional organizations that can support your child if there is a mental health issue. That is also about uh, mental health support. If God forbid something happens in Israel, Amir will talk a bit about it more, but we have fluctuating times here, I'm sure you're aware. And sometimes a group needs to be held if something happens. And we also support them during those groups during periods if there are periods of, of instability and you should know that we're there for them. Uh, the fourth and final thing I wanna talk about is preparing for campus. Now that's and college life. Now that may feel like ages away, but I want you to know that that's a priority for us. Why is it a priority for us? Because we know that Israel is not only, can be a real resource to, uh, to students on college campus, if they know how to use it, because college campuses can be a place of conflict and contention if you identify as Jewish and connected to Israel. We provide courses and Israel education that prepare the fellows to be able to enter college proudly, with resilience, with, uh, with the content knowledge, but also the emotional agility and anchoredness that allows them to really survive, not only survive, but thrive on campus. So those are four areas where Massa supports is not only additive, but is also transformative and holds the uh, programs in doing their job best and your children uh, so that they thrive throughout their journey. Uh, I'm thrilled to see you and I'm excited to see your children and I'm always here for contact. You're in great hands with Cheryl and I will be quiet and let the next person speak. Thank you, Sarah. Um, I Some people uh, wrote in the chat that they didn't get the contact information for me. I've reposted it, so hopefully you have it. If you don't, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll do it again, but hopefully it worked. Uh, and now uh, we are going to hear from Amir Kanan, and he is the Chief of Security and Operations for Massa based in Israel. So Amir, welcome. Um, so hi, hello everyone. I'm so happy after you heard the uh, Sarah Mali's uh, uh, wonderful accent, and now you need to try and handle uh, my Israeli accent. Um, as you can see, I was born and raised in uh, Israel, uh, and I am in the last three years the Chief of Security and Operation here in Masai in Israel. Um, from what I saw, you had a lot of questions that are under my supervision uh, in Masa. Uh, first of all, all the visa uh, issues uh, that you uh, ask. So um, your uh, your program uh, has uh, communicated to you the most uh, recent guidelines uh, as they apply for the entry to uh, Israel and how to uh, um, uh, issue uh, your A2 uh, Masa visa. Um, the appropriate way is to do it uh, by uh, your uh, local consul, but I know that there's a lot of uh, trouble uh, issuing uh, in the consul. So um, we also offer um, a opportunity uh, to enter Israel as a, a tourist and you, your uh, uh, child will get the, the tourist visa uh, upon the entry. And um, we have a great uh, a communication with the Ministry of Interior here in Israel 
and they will help us to apply and uh, to uh, get all of the uh, all of your kids uh, the appropriate visa uh, here in Israel, the A2 visa uh, uh, that uh, um, applies as a Masada participant. Um, so I know you have a lot of questions uh, regarding that. So um, uh, don't be nervous. Um, we will help your uh, your kids and uh, your uh, program uh, managers here in Israel um, to do it uh, appropriately. Um, the next uh, thing that I want uh, um, uh, uh, to talk to you about is our very special country. Um, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, um, issues here in Israel. Um, I hope um, probably you, all of you heard that in, in our last uh, weekend uh, we had some uh, a campaign uh, near Gaza Strip uh, that uh, um, uh, um, changed a little bit our uh, way of life uh, uh, here in the in the country. Um, this is not all. Um, we have also uh, very uh, extreme weather. Uh, the heat in the summer is uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty harsh, and um, uh, all our um, um, program managers uh, know how to handle it, and they know what to do uh, regarding that. Um, uh, the last campaign uh, that took place last weekend, uh, um, we were, we had a uh, thousand of participants, uh, massa participants, uh, and um, we know how to respond immediately to those kinds of situation. Uh, we reflected uh, immediately all, for all our uh, programs and for all of our participants uh, the situation even before it started. All of the participants uh, uh, got a very close brief uh, what to do when we hear uh, hearing the alarm in the uh, in in their areas. And uh, everyone before the Fed, the, the first missile were uh, 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 launched uh, um, to Israel. Already knew where they need to do and what they need to uh, uh, where they need to go and what they need to do uh, if they will uh, hear an alarm. Um, I'm in uh, uh, contact with a lot of uh, uh, government uh, office uh, office here in Israel. Um, to apply all to, to go and get all the right information that we need, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, um, uh, the various uh, security forces, immigration and uh, uh, population authorities, and of course the Jewish Agency. All of the uh, offices are helping us um, to make sure that your uh, uh, kids will get the most updated and the most uh, important uh, uh, brief that they need. Um, to Excuse make me, Amir. Amir. Amir, excuse me, there is a lot of background noise. Maybe you can mute everyone at the background yeah. because it's, I want to listen to you and it's very hard. Um, Cheryl, I think that you are the, the one that can do it because I'm uh, not No, Mira, Mira is the host right now, so. I'm trying to find her to meet her. Okay. So please, uh, please Thank everyone, um, let's let's try to uh, um, uh, uh, be uh, to, to put yourself on mute, so everyone uh, can uh, listen. Um, so as I was uh, uh, saying, um, um, uh, all of those uh, uh, officers here in the, uh, uh, in Israel are in uh, uh, contact with me. And this is my way uh, to get all the right info uh, on time to all of our participants. Um, uh, the, the result of this collaboration is, uh, uh, is that we are able to issue and respond uh, to guidelines in a timely manner. Your children program receive around the clock security support and communication. In all of the program, um, we have a person that is uh, a job is to be uh, a, a, the security and safety uh, representative, uh, and he is working uh, uh, directly with me, and he will get is getting all the, the the info that they need. If we have a lot, if we have some question regarding that, you can uh, contact your uh, program managers, and they will know how to uh, uh, answer you. And if they not know. Uh, 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 the answer, they know how to contact me, and I promise you that uh, you will receive uh, all you, uh, the info that you need. Okay. Um, basically, our goal is to uh, enable your children to have a meaningful and uh, informative experience here in Israel. Uh, uh, and um, uh, of course, uh, uh, we want to ensure the safety of all of them. So uh, um, this is uh, um, 
all the things that uh, we are uh, preparing uh, to do uh, in the next uh, year that uh, they will be here. Um, I hope uh, that I managed to answer all of your questions. Again, if you have another question, you can uh, send uh, your uh, Cheryl uh, question or your program managers, and I will be happy uh, to answer uh, to everyone. So uh, enjoy, uh, tell your children to enjoy the, your stay in Israel. And I'm hoping that no one will need uh, to ask me anything while they are here in Israel. Thank you, Amir. And uh, really, as Amir says, if you have questions, feel free to, to send them to me and I will pass them on um, because I'm sure there are going to be things that come up and are not necessarily answered everything uh, in this program. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is Roe Berkovich. He is the director of Gap Year and Jewish Studies programs at Massa, and he is also in Israel. Hello. Hi. So finally, sorry, there was a bit of mute unmute situation. So shalom everyone. Um, so just firstly, I'm really, really excited to meet you all. I think it's a real pleasure uh, to have all of you here. And um, just if you feel like, I think it will make it all meeting much more personal. If you want to open your videos, I promise you there's nothing to be ashamed about. And we can be a, a, like have a personal eye to eye contact. And that's also going to be very nice to all of us. I want to start with saying, who am I? I come from just a few months ago, I've been an organizer. I've been a program director. I've been a counselor. I've been a coordinator. I've been in almost every role in one of the gap year programs. I've been in almost every role that the gap year program offers. I know it all. I know all the positions. I know all the flows. And now I'm working in Massa. And my position here now in Massa is really to emphasize and to strengthen all the programs. I can see it from an umbrella and from a rooftop position, and I can really understand how to work with the program directors. Masa in Hebrew means a journey. That's why we call it the Israel journey. And when you go on a journey, it's not, you know, you need to prepare yourself. You need to really read the maps, hire a good guide, prepare your water, have good hiking boots, that's the first step of the Masa. The second step of the Masa, you need to really have a good time in the, pro in the process, in the hiking, in the journey, but also to know that you will be challenges. You'll have ups, you'll have downs. You'll have the whole time. It's a long journey, it's a year journey. And you'll have all those time, you'll have the ups and downs, but you know that you're gonna enjoy the journey because at the end of the day, you know that you're gonna to arrive to a certain point and gonna enjoy the view. And lastly, what you need in a journey is a good company after to tell the story, to have someone to share these memories with. You need someone to do it with. And I think these three points are what we're trying to do in Massa. When we're talking about pre preparing for the Massa programs, so what is my position here? What am I as the director of GAP programs wants to do for your children, our fellows. I wanna prepare you the programs. I wanna sit with them. I wanna make sure that they looking at every angle, that they talking, they preparing themselves educationally, logistically, emotionally, professionally, in any aspect that they're talking of, I want them to be prepared. I want them to be ready for your children, our fellows. For that, we're creating lots of opportunities. One of the opportunities that we're creating here in Massa is we hired an audit company and the audit company every year checks every program and we sit with every program director and their team and we talk about what was the weak spot, what was the strength, how we can make it better. This is preparation. We wanna make sure the tour guide that's taking your children on this journey is prepared for this journey. He's ready for that. That's step number one. Step number two is the journey itself. And as Sarah said before, we're working on many levels here. The programs are really, they, they have talking about education. They're talking about tikkun olam. They're talking about how 
we can make an impact. But they're also talking about professional development, about personal growth, about how we take this experience and bring it back home. This is an opportunity for your fellows, for my fellows, for your children. This is an opportunity to create something in the gap year. So when they return home or make Aliyah or whatever the journey is waiting for them, they're ready for it. Every opportunity is there for them. And it's not just that. We want a good company on the way. And for that, the importance of Masa is where we bring the international world into it. We bring participants from all around the world. In the opening event, your children are going to meet people from 60 countries from around the world. They're going to meet people from Brazil, Argentina, Australia, South Africa. This is an unbelievable opportunity. And nevertheless, all Jews coming together to Israel for one journey. And this is uplifting in a way that I can't explain. These programs, yes, they're important, they're meaningful, but they're also fun. And we're doing that because we understand that this is the time, this is the age, this is the year to, do, to make a difference for our life in the future. I wanna also mention that we're doing few very special projects during the year. One of the projects that we're doing is Meizama Chibu, the connection project. This project is a new product, project that we're bringing into Massa, and we bring Israelis the age of 18, 19, and we bring GAP participants from around the world, and we join them together. For the first time, we want to make sure that the Jewish people is come together, not just the Jews of the diaspora or whatever we call it. We're talking about the whole Jewish world. We come, we talk together, we play together, we joy together, we do everything together. And this is a really uplifting moment for the participants when they come back and they ask themselves, okay, so I met not just Israel, I met Israelis. And now I have a different perspective into my life. The other thing that we're trying to do here is really to prepare them for whatever the future holds for them. And that's the moment after. For that, Sarah mentioned it a bit, we're trying to do the next step events. The next step events are really important for us because we are understanding that we want to prepare them, not just for Aliyah, not just for returning back home, but also for the challenges they're gonna have in the campuses. Or just how are we gonna live now that we're not part of a group? We finished school, we finish gap year program. Well, now we're in a massive university, a massive college. There's thousands of students around us. How we manage that? How we deal with that? This is something we want to emphasize as well this year. We want to talk about it. We want to create a community. We want to create a community of Bogrim together, of alumni, that they're working together, they're dealing together. This is all new initiatives that we want to bring in. As Amir said before, the security, the safety, the, everything is put in place. But in days of uncertainty, I wanna tell you that I saw the programs. They are amazing in shifting and understanding much better how to deal with uncertainties. They shift quickly, they prepare themselves quickly. And all of that to make sure that they put the participant, our fellows, your children at first. And this is something that we wanna make sure that it's happening. We put standards into the programs and these standards needs to put uphold and we wanna make sure that they're upholding it. And this is important. So I'm emphasizing what Amir is saying because this is the way that we're gonna really make a difference in the year. Lastly, I really wanted to say that for me, as someone that saw it from all perspective, I think there's three partners into this journey. There's the participant itself, your children, there's the program, but none of the less, the program and Masa, and none of the less, there's you, the parents. And I wanna say firstly, thank you from all my heart. I know it's a challenge for many of you. It's not an easy task to send your kids halfway across the globe. And I really appreciate that. And I think you're doing your children a massive benefit of sending them on a gap year program. And it's a big responsibility from our part to make sure that they're holding and upholding the standards and the regulations that we wanna make sure that are happening in the programs. So thank you so much. And I can't wait to see your kids 
here in Israel. Thank you, Roy. Um, and now we're returning to North America. Um, I see that in the chat, there were some questions about how to uh, be in touch with some of the Israelis who are on the call. So once again, feel free to reach out to me if you want, and I can connect you. And uh, I guess I'm I'm the conduit. And then um, the other thing to know is I also reposted the Facebook group for you, and I posted our website, so the Massab website. So you should have all of that. And now I am going to uh, turn this over to Mira Ashtipkar. She is the COO of Massa North America, and she will finish off today's program. Thanks, Cheryl. Hi, everyone. Um, Mazat Tov, it's really exciting. You're sending your children for a gap experience in Israel on a Masab program, and it's a really amazing opportunity for all of you, not just your child, but for you as a family to connect to Israel, for your child to connect to Israel, to their Jewish identity, to other people. Um, you're going to see it's a year of growth for for everybody in the family. Um, I did a gap. I did a post college year program in Israel, and it changed my life and the trajectory of my life. Um, it determined where I work, who my friends are, who I married, how I ra raise our children. Um, so the impact will be felt for years to come. So I just want to give you just two two things that I wanted to tell you. Is one, come visit your children in Israel. It's a great opportunity to bring you and your family to come to Israel. We really recommend the, the Christmas to New Year's break is a really good time. A lot of the kids will have vacation. During that time, we're going to do basically like a parents visiting weekend. I'm sure you've heard about that through colleges. We'll have a couple different activities set up that we'll be sending out more information in the upcoming, um, in the next month or two. So please come to Israel, see your children, see what they're up to. Um, and get to experience a little bit of what they, they're they experiencing. Um, and the second thing is, once your child is a Masa alumni, a lot of them are gonna be going back to college campuses and, um, and, and going on with their next stage of their life, but their experience with Masa doesn't stop there. We will we launched a new program this past year to help Masa alumni, most likely gap kids, um, to find internships in their either in the Jewish field or in Israeli startups around the country. So you're not done with Masa when your program's over. It's just the it, you're just moving into the next stage. Um, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Your child will know about it. You can intern then either with Masa or different organizations and companies around the country in North America. Um, it's going to be a great year for all of you. Good luck. We're excited. It's a great journey, like Oi and all of my colleagues said. Um, it's life-changing, and your child will be only the better for it. So, mazal tov to all of us, and to all of you, and kora it's a really big step that you all took, and you should all feel proud of yourselves.